Hello everyone, this video is a brief video to show the online test of the Bikov TwinSafe safety program system. And in this video, I will mainly show the online test how we can compile, download, and online test the light curtain, e-stop, and uh, function block for the output, and show the online status of the EDM signal. This video is a supplementary video based on the previous video. And because recently I got an actual controller and uh, I download this controller and have a chance to online test all the safety program. It's a good time to show what the online status of the safety program. So let's start. After we finish the twin safe program, let's go to the top, the twin safe, click this uh, verify the safety project. Make sure there's no error in the safety program. And then let's go to the safety tree, find out this uh, target system. In this page, we have a slot number for the controller, CRC code, series number, that's very important for the download. Currently, without the download, the CRC code is uh, not available. Then let's go to the twin save, he is the download. And here, the username that is a uh, administrator, the A is a capital. And the series code, that is, uh, we copied series code from the top. And uh, password, that is a uh, twin safe. T and the safe, that is a capital. Here, the right square show the so offline and online, they are different because this is our first time to download, so everything shows red. So once you download before, a couple of them will show the green. So this is a verify, and uh, in this type, we will select uh, the menu, check out this uh, checkbox, and uh, after this, we will download the actual program. This is the last step, we will type in the password. So it's the same password, twin save, T and uh, save, that is a capital. Meantime, we will see at the bottom, that green bar is showing the processing. So that means we are downloading the program. Watch this uh, CRC code. Once we download successfully, this code will change from the not available to this code. Okay, the next step, let's go online. Click this uh, show online data. Once you go online, if you see all the function block shows a right, the right flag, and uh, on the top area, if it shows a stop, you must check that run stop signal for your safety controller, this signal must be on to let your safety controller to run. And keep in mind that the run stop signal come from the standard PLC. You must guarantee that run stop signal has been started. Once we turn on that run stop signal, let's go online again. And we will go online status. If the signal turned on, it will show the green. So let's go to the variable mapping underneath. If the signal turned on, it will show the green. So let's shift to the group parts. So in here, two important signal. One is a run stop signal. It must be on to run the safety controller. And arrow acknowledge is used to acknowledge all the arrows in the safety logic. Usually it will connect to a physical button on the MCP main control panel. So this is the light curtain signal. We have two channels. So I break the light curtain. We can see the right side vertical light curtain OK signal drop. So we can see without this reset signal, even if the light curtain two channels turn on, this output vertical light curtain OK output signal will not turn on. So after we hit the reset signal, usually that is a pump button near the light curtain. Once we got this reset signal from zero to on and from on to zero. So with this signal change, so this light curtain will turn on, recover to on. Let's see. 
Reside turn on and off, so light curtain will turn on. Let's try it again. Break. Recover the signal. Recover, clear the light curtain area. And so far, off. Once we got the reside, so it will recover. So this is the light curtain. Let's go to the e-stop signal. The e-stop has the two channels. And this reset button, usually that is reset button on the control panel. So we press the e-stop, the e-stop OK go off. Without this reset, it will still off, even if we release the e-stop button. Now we turn on, we can see the status. Once from on to off again, so the e-stop OK will recover. So this reset signal need to be from zero to on and then from on to off. Need to do this change. So let's watch this change again. Now the e-stop is OK. We press the e-stop and release the e-stop. E-stop OK, output still off. So let's watch carefully about this reset signal again. Turn on, look at the corner of that color. Go Once reset go off again, so e-stop OK recovered. This is the whole process. And then let's go to the function block for the output. Let's go to see the EDM signal changing. On the right side, that is uh, our safety output function blocks. Let's go online. In normal status or in safe mode, the two inputs for this uh, safe mode drive enable function block that is on. So the output drive enable that is on. But in normal status, this EDM monitoring signal that is off. And if this command signal go off, the drive enable, the safety output will go off. Once it's go off, so the feedback signal from that relay that is a normal closed signal, that is the EDM signal will turn on. And once this command signal go on, with this EDM on already, so the control signal drive enable will turn on. Once it's turned on, the normal close signal will drop. So after this, the EDM signal will go off, give a feedback. Let's watch this process. Now it's on. Command go off. Function block turn yellow. So the EDM is on. With this on already, once command go on, the drive enable will turn on. After this, EDM will go off. Let's watch it again. Now it's in normal status. EDM is off. Command go off. EDM turn on. Get it ready for next time. Function block turn yellow. Command on. So enable will be on. EDM signal goes off after. And this is the global view of this whole twin safe safety logic. If we go online, uh, we can see the signal flows. And if the e-stop priced, we will see the output will go off. And once the e-stop recovered, we will see the signal flow recovered. So we will see this is the status. We can clearly see the signal flows. With this signal flow, it's very easy to troubleshoot. All right, that is for today. In this video, we mainly show the online status of the light curtain, e-stop, and the function block for the output. Especially, we show the process for the e-stop and the EDM signal feedback, that process. And keep in mind that reset signal need to go from zero to on and uh, go off again to reset the safety status or reset the function block. Okay, that's for today. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.